Hi, my name is Evangelia Mitaraki and I'm a pediatric trainee in Northwest London Deanery. I am delighted to be nominated for this year's Bapam Gopi Menon Award under the category of Best Local Project. The Neonatal Nurse Shadowing Program is a project idea focusing on building successful perinatal teams by encouraging communication, teamwork and bi-directional learning opportunities. The project was tailored for neonatal doctors and helped them gain practical skills on nursing tasks, understand the work that neonatal nurses do, build stronger relationships amongst the team and improve neonatal care in general. The project ran over six months in Chelsea and Westminster Hospital neonatal unit, where junior doctors would shadow a neonatal nurse for a full day. The day agenda was created after discussion with their nursing colleagues and neonatal unit matron. A list of suggested nursing competencies was developed and adjusted to the nature of this tertiary unit, which covers both medical and surgical cases. Our applicants submitted a pre-shadowing and post-shadowing questionnaire with the aim to collect data on their interests of participation and their feedback, as well as their baseline knowledge in nursing tasks. A certificate of completion was provided to all participants, which they could add to their portfolio. The project was welcomed by all. Results showed that all participants enjoyed the day and would recommend it to their colleagues in the future. The general feedback was excellent. Moving forwards, I recommend that this project is implemented in other level 2 and 3 neonatal units across the country. The NNSP could be extended to other healthcare professionals such as midwives. Also, a great initiative is to do the opposite. For example, call neonatal nurses to shadow doctors for a day. Moreover, the NNSP can be actively supported by integrated care teams, since in that way, junior doctors get the chance to step out of their strictly clinical role and support families alongside nurses. In general, the NNSP can be promoted by BAPM as a toolkit for perinatal optimization, since it has been proven to improve communication and trust amongst doctors and nurses, thus building stronger and more successful perinatal teams. Thank you once again for nominating this project. At UHB, we set up our home phototherapy service in 2018 with four goals. One, to reduce mother and baby separation and improve bonding. Two, to reduce hospital stays for otherwise well jaundiced infants. Three, to reduce hospital readmissions of otherwise well jaundiced infants. And four, to share our experience with colleagues in the region and the wider NHS. We started small with a pilot study that examined the practicalities and potential obstacles to the service and parental satisfaction with the service. The parental response was overwhelmingly positive and this helped secure the support of commissioners and our NHS Trust in rolling out a seven day service. This has been a resounding success, which is now the preferred service for most of our otherwise well jaundiced infants, both in the hospital and community settings. Parents routinely give our service a five star rating and after treating approximately 700 infants to date, we believe we have fulfilled all our set goals. We provide regular teaching sessions on teams to colleagues in the Midlands and also nationally. And last year we published our home phototherapy experience in the BMJ and shared our findings with an even larger audience. We believe we currently have the best home phototherapy service in the UK. Reducing term admissions to neonatal units is an NHS improvement priority. Separation of mother and baby may interrupt the bonding process with consequences for both maternal and neonatal health and should only be undertaken where necessary. We are passionate about keeping families together. It was noted that our term admission rate was approximately 5%, with respiratory admissions accounting for around half of these. Many require only a short period of CPAP, but are routinely commenced on IV antibiotics and fluids, necessitating a period of establishing enteral feeds, further prolonging separation, as well as exposure to broad-spectrum antibiotics. We felt that it would be possible to reduce these figures. We developed a pathway for management of term babies with respiratory distress at delivery. We aim to give up to half an hour of CPAP in the delivery room and then a further half an hour of CPAP via our transport incubator CPAP system, either in the delivery room or on the neonatal unit if staffing is unable to facilitate this. At the one hour time point, we make a decision as to whether CPAP and admission to the neonatal unit is required or whether we can return the baby to routine postnatal care after a period of 15 minutes of monitored observation. Following implementation in May 2021, we are able to reduce admissions for respiratory support following delivery. Of all infants managed according to the pathway, 64% were able to return to routine postnatal care. There were no adverse complications. 
Most of the CPAP was given in delivery suite with parents present. However, due to staffing constraints, it was necessary to move some of the babies to the neonatal unit for a brief period of time. For the future, we aim to move towards continuing the whole hour of CPAP at the location of delivery to further minimise separation of families, as well as continuing to monitor for potential adverse outcomes. Hello, I'm Dr. Sandeep Shetty, representing the neonatal team at St. George's University Hospital NHS Foundation Trust, and thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Neurally adjusted ventilatory assist, otherwise known as NERVA, is a novel mode of respiratory support. NERVA provides a synchronized pressure assistance proportionate to diaphragmatic electric signals detected via a modified nasogastric tube called a NERVA catheter. There is emerging evidence that NERVA as a form of respiratory support has several advantages including lower extubation failure rates, shorter durations of invasive and non-invasive ventilation, and improved nutritional outcomes. A comprehensive program was introduced at St. George's Neonatal Unit in June 2019 and NAWA now successfully established. NAWA is now a standard of respiratory support care for extubation in extremely premature infants and infants who require long-term ventilation. Our dedicated MDT ventilation team delivered the change and responded to feedback. The ventilation team developed training videos, guidelines, MDT educational sessions and supported the clinical team at the court site. We standardized all aspects of neonatal respiratory support including nasal interfaces which reduced nasal injury and increased the duration of NAVA catheter used to make it cost effective. We optimize ventilator and flow sensor performance through a series of software updates together with getting a the ventilator manufacturer. NAVA can be offered uninterrupted during all intra-hospital transfers. We have 20 server and MACA ventilators in use and have already offered NAVA to over 70 infants. We are the only UK neonatal unit to offer NAVA. St. George's has become the reference site for getting and neonatal NAVA. This initiative won the best quality improvement initiative for the year at St. George's Hospital. We are very grateful to our parent-led St. George's First Start charity for the generous funding allowing purchase of server and devices and funding of NAVA education and training.